Anybody still got any doubts? Take this and mix it with this in that, and we're gonna cut that in half. A thousand pounds of thermite. Most of the material just basically boiled out. Despite 175 pounds of thermite packed around the steel column, it remained undamaged. If thermite can't melt this small column, it wouldn't have had a chance to melt through the much larger columns in the Twin Towers. Now let's paint the super thermite onto the metal beam. Does it burn long enough and hot enough so that we have structural failure? All right. Anybody still got any doubts? Okay, so that fire burned pretty hot. Did it burn long enough to cause any structural damage? Let's put it to the test. No, nope, looks like it's still in good shape. did absolutely nothing to the steel connection. Maybe National Geographic was right. With only one and a half pounds of thermate, or less than one one hundredth of what the National Geographic experts used for their experiment, not only was I able to melt steel, but it also sliced a vertical cut. It only took a slight twist to break it completely off. But it can also cut vertical columns. Can thermite cut bolts? I guess it can. Just the bolt head? I guess it can. I made a four-sided box cutter split in two pieces so they could be inserted inside the column. The inside of the column was cut about three-quarters of the way through. Were thermitic devices or maybe explosive nanothermite sprayed inside those box columns? I'm not sure. And I'm not sure why this handhold is so large. Or why the side of this box column looks like it's blown outward. training ground for the unthinkable. An entire town devoted to playing out the most horrific scenarios bought by New Mexico Tech, a school renowned for teaching the science of explosives to minors, and after Oklahoma City, the science of terror to cops and agents. First responders from around the world trained more than 300,000. FEMA spends $22 million a year. Can thermite of any type burn through steel beams? The web was reduced in thickness with razor sharpness with a Swiss cheese appearance.